With familicide up 30% in just 2020, we have to start looking at the commonality of these men. What is the one common denominator that we see in all of these cases for these inadequate men who annihilate their entire families? We can look in their history and we can see the past where we see people denying them ever having bad behavior. I really, truly, honestly believe these people flew under the radar their entire lives. I do not believe that these acts of murder were the first acts of indiscretion. I believe that these men were allowed to be comfortable in our society. No, his frame of mind, and I, I, I don't know his frame of mind. That's all. I, I, but I would like to know what what triggered it. We still don't believe it. It just just can't be. I keep shaking my head, saying, "How can this be?" Because he had lots of friends, very good student in school, a very normal, active boy. Our son is the best son in the world. How can a perfectly a normal young man and he he's normal he was normal how can a perfectly a normal young man and he he's normal he was normal ground it that can tell us what triggered all of this in fact up until saturday i didn't believe any of it For 13 years, he's sworn up and down backwards and forwards that he was innocent. Tell us what triggered all of this. What triggered it? Peterson's parents never backed down in defense of their only son. I'm just so sick of this. Prior to Scott's arrest, he was found to be in possession of a car under Jackie's name, as well as camping equipment, clothes, four cell phones, and two driver's licenses, that apparently indicating intentions to flee the country, according to CBS News. to be the most primitive, barbaric thing that one human, that a human being can impose upon another. <laughs> 